What's going on everybody? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. It's day two in California. We partied hard last night at Vapor Hookah Lounge. We celebrated Neve's birthday, so happy birthday again, Neve. It was really cool seeing everybody out there. We saw Alex from Five Star, Mary from Five Star, Moz from Hookah Junkie, Sarkis was out there. We saw Azur, Rafael Azur. We saw a bunch of people came out last night. Angela came out from Alchemist. I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of people. There was a lot of people out there, and it was a great night. I don't think I left till like what? 3.30 in the morning and I had to drive an hour and a half back and it's a three hour time difference so I am beat slept in a little late today skipped breakfast kind of took a nap relaxed recuperated and I'm ready to hit the town today had a really good day yesterday though um, first thing I did when I got to LA I called up an old friend of mine and uh, some of you might actually recognize him you guys remember this guy where it all started what's up Welcome to California, Zach. Uh, is this your car, man? I wish. This is my car. I like this too. <laughs> well, this is the man who uh, inspired me to start the video, so I just want to show you guys him. Reintroduce you guys to Wayne. Shaved head, no hair anymore. Yeah. You know he gave up smoking, right? So, traitor. All the time. Now he works in the vape industry. We ain't friends anymore. <laughs> I just came all the way out here to hang out with him. Man, it was so nice seeing Wayne after a very long time. I missed that dude. If you guys remember the videos with him, we had a lot of fun, a lot of tangiers, and he's one of the really big motivators that started me to review. So it was really cool seeing him. And I wasn't joking, he did stop smoking hookah and he does work in the vape industry. So, oh well though. Spent the day eating around town, took me for some ramen, checked out some competing ice cream shops. So, well not really my competitors, just other ice cream shops. Trying to see what's going on in LA, what's new out here, what I can do to improve my shop and kind of feel like I'm on par. Everything is doing pretty good in my shop and compared to the ones out here. Had some matcha ice cream, it was just a good day, really enjoyed spending time with him. Then we met up with Aldrin, and if you guys remember Aldrin from Hookah and Beyond or whatever Hookah channel that was, he used to hang out with Adam Rice, super OG. Great meeting him in real life, and uh, he took some nice pictures of me, so y'all can see that right here. Sarkis! What's up, buddy? What up, Zach? How you doing, brother? What's going on, YouTube? And all of Zach's viewers, how y'all doing? What's going on? Put it there, brother. What's up, buddy? Thank you doing for having good, us. Man. We appreciate it. Where are we at? Oh, you're right here at my lounge, Isis Lounge in Pasadena, California. Right here in SoCal. Been here nine years and going strong, brother. And uh, I'm glad to share this place with you guys, all your viewers, and all you wonderful people that smoke hookah, that love hookah as much as we all do over here at uh, Hookah Unbiased and all the other forums and communities online. And uh, just glad to have you guys here, man. I'm glad to be here tonight with you, bro, and all of you guys. Uh, I have some fresh hookahs for you, brother. You packed you for hit. us? We packed yes. for you, brother. It's all for you, man. I already have a bowl going. Check this out. Tell us about the setup. What are you smoking? It's my first time in California. First time at your lounge, so, it's a pleasure to be here, so I'm excited for this. I'm using my personal Regal. All of them have Apache mediums with Provost on top. Um, one of them, uh, one of you guys mix is uh, uh, the Wild Africa from Zomo, mixed with uh, pineapple and some guava. I've never had Wild of, Africa, I'm uh, down yeah, for that. Yeah, that's, Shit, that's, new stuff. The other one, the other one is uh, Pear, uh, Perfect from Trafecto with uh, Plum from Haze and Sub-Zero. Uh, you guys are gonna love this. I know it. I'm smoking. Uh, I'm actually smoking all Tangiers right now. Summer Solstice with a little bit of Melon Blend and Cane Mint. That's my mix. So you're a Tang Man, it seems. I'm a Tang Man. But get over here, take a puff. Let's smoke, it's man. It's you, a brother. beautiful lounge. I guess we're in Pasadena, like I said. I know the fuck where I am. It took me like an hour to get here, uh, but this is a beautiful place. Look at these hookahs just sitting on the tables, ready for you guys to smoke. Look at that Dashini right there. Sarkis, so, okay, so we're smoking, buddy. How's it going? What's up, brother? Doing fine, doing fine. How's your bowl going? Going good. It's still the same bowl we had when you first got here. It's been a couple hours since, but it's still going sweet. Did you pack it? I packed this bowl. I hear you pack a pretty decent bowl. Pretty good? 
I like to think so. Why is it so smoky, <laughs> man? It's all to do with the pack method and how you introduce the heat. I mean, it, it, every every bowl, every pack, that that's that's all it is. You know, it's a combination of the median that you put the tobacco in, what the tobacco is, how you prepare it, and how you heat manage it. Those four aspects are the key to success at any se uh, session. Once you get that down, you can manipulate any tobacco to do whatever you want it to do. And that's all it's true. And it's been a great session today. I think I'm smoking a different uh, blend of blonde leaves, you said, right? I got a little bit of Zomo, I got a little bit of trifecta, you said. I got a bunch of different things. I got some haze in here. Yeah, you I'm, have Yeah, you have some uh, Zomo trifecta and haze mix. And it's been smoking wonderfully. We're enjoying our time at the lounge today. I am with Ron from Hookah Heroes. You will see him in a second. He's right across the road over there. Right over there, somewhere <laughs> over there. I'm not pointing <laughs> on camera, but hanging out with Sarkis today. It's been really fun visiting his lounge in Pasadena. I've never been to Pasadena, never been to California, but I hear great things about this lounge. So you can't come to California without seeing Sarkis, right? Sarkis is California. Sarkis is hookah, so it's been great. Sarkis is hookah, that's what I like to hear. I like that. I like that a lot. We serve a five course menu. Uh, we, we, we have, you know, appetizers, sandwiches, salads, uh, entrees, and desserts. So you got to be a master of all things for you to be successful, you know? I agree with and that. And I'm the kind of guy that I don't like to serve something if I don't believe in it. If I won't pay for it, I will serve it. Same here. You guys know me. It's got to be good for me to waste my time, right? Amen to it's that. It's got to be good. So we've been having a great time tonight. Let's come out to this dude. You guys know him? This is Ron from Hookah Heroes. Ron, what's up, buddy? What's up, everybody? How's it going? Ron from Hookah Heroes here. Uh, I want to thank Zach. It's been an amazing trip so far. Thankful to Zach. Uh, thankful to you guys. Thank you so much uh, for everything you, uh, you've done. I would not be here without you. Wouldn't be here without Zach. That's 100% true. 100% sure. I owe him all the success we've had so far. I want to thank not you guys again. Not all the success. Again. It's you. Hard work. Ron and I have been having a lot of uh, heart to hearts today about we have. what it means to work hard, what it means to start your own brand, what it means to own a business. You know, it's not always easy, but it's. People, it's, when they buy things, they appreciate, they see what it means. Agreed. It means a lot to all of us, you know? I agree. Ron was saying every order really matters to him, you know? Big or small, we appreciate you guys spending your time, your money. 100%. You know? Uh, year one has been completed, and, you know, I'm very, very thankful. So, I'm, I'm thankful to Zach and what he's done for me. Uh, I'm thankful to you guys for all the support and the love and the feedback and the criticism. So, keep that coming, keep it up, and I will keep giving my best to you guys as well. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and uh, keep a lookout for more things to come. Thank you. So new things to come, the new channel, right? Yes. You're trying to put me out of business, right? <laughs> trying to, he says he makes better videos than me. So tell yeah. me about the new channel. What's the goal of the channel? So, what's, what's the name of the channel? That's a great question. So the name of the channel is just simply hookaheroes.com. Uh, subscribe. So the goal of the channel, uh, this was always in the works. I just wanted to get a footprint in the industry before I did it. Uh, the goal of the channel is I'm not a reviewer. I'm not Zach. I'm not, you know, I'm not Sarkis. That's Sarkis. Yes. If you forgot him. You know, <laughs> these guys have their place. Uh, they have their say on products and reviewing products and giving their, you know, unbiased opinion on those products. That's why we love Sarkis. That's why we love Zach. There you so, go. Yeah, so let's say, who can buy it? Remind us, some of my viewers are not part of Facebook groups. Yeah. So Facebook groups are important, right? Obviously. Facebook so you're a group on Facebook and you guys discuss what? We discuss everything. Now, let, let, let me, actually it's a good topic to, to mention right now. The reason why I, I prefer Facebook groups over uh, traditional forums uh, like Reddit, for example, is the ease of which you could upload pictures and videos to the comments and the sub comments of whatever topic you're discussion, discussing in the moment instead of you having so it's a more link. fluid conversation. Absolutely, it's all it? about interaction, you know. If you're not part of a Facebook group, join HU. Yeah, and, and check, out, check out Hookah Unbiased. It's a Facebook search, Hookah Unbiased will pop up. You're gonna uh, be required to, to request to join. It's a closed group, that means it's not open to the public. You have to be a member. We're pretty lenient on, on accepting people. So like, yeah, I know uh, Zach, so I can get in, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> and, and, and what it is is that you'll have to, you'll answer a couple of questions like what's your favorite hookah brand, What's your, what tobacco you like to smoke, Who's where you're from, viewers, uh, th things like that. Sarkis is also working on new things for you guys, maybe yes, a new uh, channel possibly in yes, the works. Yes, so, yes, always new content and also Ron's channel, so make sure to subscribe to Ron's channel. Please do. We're just gonna talk about brands, introduce brands, introduce hookahs, hookah tobacco, bowls, whatever it may be. We're just gonna go over it, uh, explain why we think it's awesome, you know, uh, why we think it's a, it's a great product, why we brought it in, 
and why we think you know you should spend your hard-earned dollars on that uh, you know for example we did that with the Phoenix right we introduced it to you guys we we let you guys uh, know what it's about uh, we didn't say hey this is the best HMD on the market you know we, we just introduced it we something want something different guys. yes it's something different we I, you know I think I liked it I thought it was awesome I thought the people behind it were great um, and so we brought it in we want you guys to test it and we want that feedback we'll bring that feedback back to them and they'll improve upon it so that's what we're about which that's they are here. already improving they've already taken uh, yes. the uh, input of others yes. uh, I've a very limited uh, testing of that you guys know that you guys have seen more if I've been testing on it. I just got mine but already the input I've given the owner he's already taken it he's already said you know what I'm gonna improve upon that no problem exactly. I want to make the best product you know yes. and if this is not the best product I'm willing to change it you know exactly but it is definitely different it does stand on its own two feet yes you know it's a very yes. unique product the spire design things like that the bottom yes. plate Definitely different. Sarkis, what do you think about the Phoenix? Because I'm sure you have some opinions on things. I was one of the first people. Do you have opinions? or I, 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 have, sure? I have some facts. Oh, facts. Oh, facts. <laughs> Tell us. I was, I was the first person to, to get a, a Phoenix uh, to test. I just fucking got mine. Yeah, I had, I've had one for a couple months now. I'm sorry, Zach. Strictly Shisha is the shit, though. Uh, I'm pretty great. I'm pretty um, great. USPS is on the other hand. <laughs> they suck, but you know, I did try to get mine early. But so, Sarkis, what do you think about this new product? Do you uh, like look, it? Does look, it stand on its own two feet? How, how I do things uh, is how we, is the same way we do it at Hookah Unbiased, where everything has its own categories and everything has its own place where it shines. There's uh, two categories of heat management devices currently one is I'm gonna call it the Lotus type because Lotus was the first uh, to, to bring that type in the other one is the Provost type and because the Provost was the first of its kind in the same way we're using today as you guys can see Provost on these yeah. setups today Sarkis is a big proponent of the Provost <laughs> as you guys can see I come to his lounge and it's, it's Provost all the way so he believes in the product you guys know I'm a big Provost fan, so continue. And you continue. know the funny thing is, I'm so unbiased. We also have Lotuses at the lounge. We use both for different purposes. For example, I would use a Lotus uh, for like things like Afaka or Fumari, whereas I would use Provost for things like Haze and Trifecta and Tangiers. So it depends on the on the use of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can control the heat better. Uh, no, more because of the characteristics and nature of each device and how it pertains to the session now with the phoenix in the realm of the lotus types where it's a foil replacement heat management device it has changed the game in my opinion and, oh, game and changer. it is a game changer it is okay. a game changer because of a few things the material use uh, quality the, the, 661 the, the quality is phenomenal if you just touch it guys if you guys are familiar with aluminum it is light it feels it is, very light but it, it's quality the beautiful thing is it doesn't it's not little pieces that are that are screwed on together it's one piece that came from one cylinder block and no they machined yeah. it out yeah. you know and and it, that's why it, it, it might be a little more pricey but it's because of that basically it took a solid piece of, of aluminum uh cylinder and they had to bore out all the insides and that that's just trash they throw that away i think so, the price is fair but also in the fact of how it actually functions the uh, ash doesn't get into the bowl ash will never get into the bowl and and that was one of the uh, one of the uh, positive things about the Lotus in the originally when it was first released everybody was talking about how less ash goes into the bowl It and, did, but now and, this is even proving yeah, more. Yeah, this less, is zero no ash. ash. This is impossible to get ash in your bowl. When you have your Phoenix, instead of packing it lower, which some people might with traditional uh, HMDs, you have to pack it a little higher. You got to make sure that the uh, that the Phoenix 6 sinks into the tobacco mm -hmm. so it's just, it, it has a that's my perfect. experience, 100%. Yeah, it has I a perfect it, thing. Well, I uh, it contact. It has you a perfect Samir, contact. Samir suffering. packed it low, and yeah. it did not smoke. You know? it, does, it will not. But you, you pack it high, you know, you pack it like it should be, not Boom. even high. Yeah, three pieces of coal, three and, pieces, and you're just four, you're, you're three flying. Pieces. You're flying. And you know what amazing thing about the Phoenix is? Uh, for the first time, I've seen an HMD that has the coals, uh, extends the life of the coal further than the provost does you, i mean you guys know i haven't talked to you guys about the phoenix hmd i just got mine so it's very limited testing for me sarkis has obviously had it longer he's telling you his opinion our opinions are aligning it works well phoenix hmd your opinion and azure new brand sure. i think i kind of introduced that to a lot of people you yes, know you i did. think that's a great brand what do you see for Azure? Um, you carry it now which is big for you to put your name put the hookah heroes brand on azure yes you um, like it 
I, you keep I actually, trying to make money off of it? What, what, tell me. No, de- honestly. Honestly, definitely not. It's not a money thing. Um, so the thing is about me is, and I think you guys, if you have watched my YouTube video uh, on Azure, uh, one of the first things I said was, you know, I like to work with people who are great people. Um, guy's a nice guy. He's amazing. So, um, you know, the reason why we brought it in uh, was, you know, those guys are amazing. Uh, they're another group of people who really care about feedback. They want feedback. They want you guys to test this out. And if improvements need to be made, uh, they're going to actually do that. So that he's was already reason. no. He, he and he's already he doing it. Hypothetically, listen. He's listened yes. to things that all of us have said. Yes. Some of you have told me your opinion on Azor. He's he's taken those opinions. I've conveyed them to him, and he's already made improvements. But again, uh, I thought it was an amazing product. Uh, What's your favorite flavor? Uh, my favorite flavor is a cinnamon cookie, and uh, I kind of. Why are you blushing? Because you like cookies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely a cookie liker. Um, I tried it out. It was freaking phenomenal. You know, honestly, all of their flavors are actually really unique. Good. Unique. They're as really well. unique. They're really flavors. well done. Have you had the rose? Winter I have rose? had the winter rose. It's all, and I'm not even a huge rose fan. I'm but, not a rose fan either, but, but uh, you know, and you guys know, I make a rose milk tea now. I really think that because of trying that flavor out, I saw the beauty and the uniqueness, the floral aspect. The balance of the sweetness, the coolness, it made me want to introduce yes. that rose flavor to my shop. And I take a lot of influence from these great flavors. You know, you guys know that. Like I did with Spumoni, like I did with Morning Glory. Like right. I learned from these guys, you know, they're doing right. great stuff. And I think his flavor profiles are unique. Unique, yep. They're interesting, you know. They really catch my attention in an industry with a lot of lemon mints. And it's doing and, well. And it's doing phenomenal. It's doing amazing. And I see really, really big things coming for this brand. So I, I actually very much agree with you. A lot of things are underwhelming these days, and I really felt like that brand was doing something different, you know? Yes. A lot of brands come out, you know, with tobacco. They're doing something very different with their brands. Yes. I really enjoy it. I know Sarkis said he enjoyed Azure as well. I actually have a bowl of cherry muffin and Bermuda mint. Cherry muffin? I right know, I just packed it I've up. never had a cherry muffin in my life. Um, so, you guys know I've reviewed the Hookah Starter Pro, and I told you guys, in a lounge setting, this is amazing. When you have no patience, and you just want to rip right off the bat, this works. So I have a question for you. It's a question I get asked a lot. It's a random question. If you were to recommend a budget hookah for a new time smoker, what's your recommended go-to budget, first time buyer, maybe upgrading from a Chinese, you know, smoke shop bullshit. Uh, um, what's what's budget though? I mean, what what what's the definition of budget? Less than two hundred, full setup. Less than two hundred? Oh man, I would have to go with what's on the market right now, the initiate. You like the initiate? I've never smoked the initiate. I I, I have one. I recommended to my buddy. He bought one. Um, I, I I fell in love with that pipe. Honestly, um, the other one would be the CNC machine. CNC though, you guys yeah. know I like the CNC. Yeah, yeah. It's a good pipe. I, I love the CNC because as well. It's not on the market right now. Yeah, so it's sold out, so it's kind of hard. Uh, once it's available, I would definitely recommend that as well. Uh, these pipes are uh, what 150, 160 dollars stem and tray. Quality pipe. The quality pipe. Both. They get a long last I, test of time. Absolutely, they will. They're all. They're both machined. Uh, CNC machined. We were talking about uh, traditional versus modern. You know. Yeah. There's a place for both. But, there is you know, a place I, for I'm both. a modern guy. You know, I used to know that. You know, I, I respect tradition, but I'm a modern guy. But no, Ron. So, you sell hookahs, I think, right? I believe I do. I believe I do. Are you yes. sure? I yes, we do. Uh, okay, if you were to recommend a new buyer, something different, something that they, you know, that you'd recommend that they maybe purchase off your website, hypothetically, what sure. would you say? Uh, so. You know, that's a great perspective, and I appreciate Sarkis' perspective on that. Uh, from a vendor perspective, what we've gone and done is we've actually answered that question for you. So what we've done is we created hookah starter packs, and those hookah starter packs were designed uh, to save you money, and they come with everything you need. So it'll come with the hookah, the base, hose, bowl, charcoal, and it's going to be had to you at a price that's under 200. So what what hookah does it include? What I would recommend is the Spade starter pack. I um, recommend the Spade. The yes, that's using. what we're. If yes. Sarkis is using in his lounge, you yes. know, it's, I, I love mean, these guys. yes, it's a good pipe. It's honestly, it's a great pipe, and it's, I mean, it retails for 170. And that again, it comes with the Zahra Spade, the Zahra Bohemian base. Uh, you know, that base is charcoal. really nice for that price. It's a great base. Great base. So, you no. know, for 170, you're gonna get, you know, a great hose, great, great uh, hookah, great base. What hose? Uh, it comes with either a Starburst hose 
or a uh, dehose aluminum. Oh, uh, aluminum. Your choice. So that's what we're using. That's right? what we're using. Yep. Yeah. So, so don't, you know, don't tap my tip. <laughs> No, swords. but don't cross yeah. swords. Yeah, look, so Sarkis is in his lounge, obviously tried and true with a lot of people who come in here. Yes. He's using the spade, he's using the deho. So you guys see, things that I recommend, it's, it's tried and true, you know? Spade Absolutely, is a good but pipe, you so. did say under 200, so in my mind I'm thinking about, you know, the I most uh, the best thing you, I could recommend under 200. But you, you recommended a spade, we all know that. So well, I would recommend a spade all day. It's almost like sub 100 see, on said, sale. Yeah, if you said, if you said sub 100, uh, I would recommend a spade. These guys have been in my lounge for um, a year and a half now, and they're the most requested pipes at my lounge, and they've gone through uh, grilling, and they have had no issues other than the paint chipping right here at the bowl port. Uh, right. You know, I like that he said that. That's honest. That, you know, it, it, don't take it but, off. It's fine. But no, no, it, I'll show it because the truth is you can't notice it. Okay. Nobody notices sure. it because this is one point I wanted to make a lot of people. A lot of people gave uh, a lot of negative uh, feedback to the to the Zara Spade because they're like, oh, the bowl port, the bowl port. And I'm like, okay, when you have a bowl on it, you don't see it. But when you take the bowl off of it, it's right there. It's chipped. Look at that. You can see the discoloration right there. That's because the finish has come off. Yeah. You guys saw the same thing with mine. Even yeah. The first but when week, you put come the, off. Yeah, but, but look, it ended there, right? The finish down there is perfect. So other than so that, you guys, pipe and you, you know, you know, here's the truth. Uh, Zara, uh, Zara is releasing the newer versions, and the newer versions will not have paint at the tips. They will be anodized, and they will be com that will solve and remedy that issue completely. So, speaking of Zara, I will be on the Zomo talk show on Monday. So yes, you will. And make I, sure you guys are watching. Sarkis was on the show. Ron was on the show. So the greats have been on there, and I'm here to uh, come show my face and have a little fun. But uh, Sarkis, look at those fucking clouds. Yeah, um, Azure. Yeah, dude, I'm going to take a hit of that. Sarkis, thank you very much for having us at the lounge. Ron and all. I. Thank you, guys. Ron drove two hours to be here. I it's drove not, an hour to be here. Strictly she show. <laughs> you did that in my video. <laughs> yes. So we're happy to be here. If you guys are ever in California, specifically Pasadena, come hang out. Look at that pipe in the back. It looks beautiful. Look at that. So come hang out with Sarkis. He will pack you a bowl. He'll make you a mix. But we all appreciate you guys just watching, right? Thank you guys. Much appreciated. And uh, we'll see you guys later today, possibly. Love you. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me at my lounge, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks. We're going to have fun. Thank you. Bye. Good night.